friends, I'm going to do a quick tutorial on how to make manual uh, custom titles in Adobe Premiere Pro. This is uh, December 28th of 2021 as I'm making this. This is pretty recent if you're watching along that time. And I've imported a couple of pieces of video here. This is uh, my dog Hendrix bringing me his stuffed dinosaur. And then we got a clip over here, so I thought we'd maybe title these two pieces of video here. If you go over here to ca uh, Captions and Graphics, you can see that there are uh, should be a whole lot of different titles you can just drag over here and some of the work is done for you if you do that for instance let's say we wanted to bring this one over here uh, you may know that you've got this already and look at the you know it, they'll have that they're not going to be animated coming in some of them might be but uh, this one for particular is not it's got some kind of script thing on it I don't want that I want something something that I want to build myself so that's what this video is going to be about so here I am in more of a basic panel setup uh, with that gone away. Let's go ahead and build a, a title. We're going to use the T tool over here, the type tool. And we're going to go over here. Let's say I want to put the title over here where the other one was. Or I want to maybe stretch across the screen. And I'm going to say this is Hendrix. Uh, Hendrix. The Golden Doodle. Bring me a dinosaur. Hopefully I spelled that right. <laughs> okay, so first thing I'm going to do probably is I'm going to highlight this. I'm going to go over here to where my effects controls are. See effects controls, and I'm going to toggle down to where I can see the text. Now, if you have a lot of stuff open, if you have your motion, a lot of times I'll just close those up so I just see the text, and that way I won't get confused. A lot of times I'll drag this window down so I can see the extent of all the uh, text opportunities there. I see I have Lucinda Grand, which is not a bad font. Uh, we could pick anything, Montserrat here, and it just changed the font. Um, but this is how they work. Now, I'm going to go ahead and center this, and I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to also, see I hit center here to do that, I'm going to also center in the middle of the box, like, like that. And what that's going to allow me to do is I can put a shadow behind this if I need to. It's probably going to require that before we're finished. And maybe I want this uh, top part here to be larger. So I'm just going to highlight just the top part. I deselect this. And then I'm going to go over here to where my size is. I see I have a 100. Maybe I'll go up to, uh, I don't know, it's 146. Looks good. Hendrix the Golden Doodle. And maybe I want to put a dot, dot, dot here. And bringing me a dinosaur. That doesn't look bad. Let's say I want to change the uh, line spacing of this, though, where I've got the dinosaur. And you know, you go over here and you have uh, the line height, which is this right here. I see it's set to two. I can bring that this way, up and down. See, all, all I'm doing is sliding. I'm just going here, holding across where I've got the little arrows both ways. And I can go up and down until I get kind of what I think looks right. I'm going to say one looks pretty good there. And now I can see I probably want some, uh, some sort of shadow behind all of this. So I'm going to go over here and I'm going to say um, background and you see it goes just slightly around this. It's, it's gray at this point. Maybe I want it to be more black and it's transparent. You can set your transparency over here. Here's where your transparency is so I can make it less or more. Now naturally I want this to get, be bigger. I want this to go outside of Hendrix the Golden Doodle. So this, this little right here, if you hover over it, I thought it would tell you what it does size. There we go. So we can take this and we can make this size larger like that. That's probably more like what we want, right? And if I wanted to put a curve or something on it, I can actually curve it like that. See how the edges are curving as I go in and out? And maybe I do want a little bit of a bevel there. It's not That doesn't look bad, does it? So pretty cool. Pretty cool. It's an easy thing to do. If I wanted to change the color of the text, maybe you want this to be, I don't know, a little bit orange or something. You can go here to the feel. I go to feel, and I can pull down to something kind of orangey. I don't know why I'd want that, but maybe I do. Let's go to something kind of like that and say OK. And now if I click away, you can see that's what I've got. And yeah, pretty cool. That's, there's a whole lot you can do. It's just a whole lot of different things you can do here just with these little tools. you got subscreen. Let's say that we, for some reason, uh, Hendrix is a, uh, I'm going to go back over and get my text tool. 
Let's say that Hendrix is a golden doodle squared or something. I don't know. <laughs> now put the two in here. I can highlight on this and I can make that a subscript. You go over here, see so you got a you got a uh, superscript and a subscript, so you can go up or down. Now, if you don't like how far down the two is, you can even go in here and change the line height on the two or the position up and down with that just by doing this sort of thing. You see what I've got a hold of over here? This changes that, so maybe I want the two to dangle more like that than what it was. I can actually create a fake subscript, but that messes up the box if I do that. That's, uh, Hendrix is not a golden doodle squared, but that's just so you can see how that kind of particular thing works, that bit of foolishness. Now, this is just very rudimentary of what I'm showing you here. If you want to change the, so you know how to change the color text. If you wanted to put a drop shadow behind this, certainly you could put drop shadows. You have that option over here as well. You could add a shadow. I mean, we could we could uh, turn the box off for about the background off for a minute. Let's say we want to do this whole thing with a shadow. I don't think that's going to work real well, but we could. But let's make that shadow black. You see what I did? I clicked in there and. I, and I was able to go up here and make the shadow darker. And then I'd have to go in and decide kind of what the, I want the shadow to do. Maybe I want it to be a little bigger here. These are the controls for the shadow. Now let's click off so we can see what we've got. And you see we've got a very subtle shadow. I'm going to turn it on and off with this little checkbox here. Off and on. Off and on. And that does help. Or you could do uh, the background and the shadow. And the other thing you can do is stroke. Of course, put a stroke on. I might as well show you what that does. Let's turn the shadow off. If we wanted to put a stroke around everything that is black, let's make it a black stroke. Uh, let's see. Click on here. I've got to turn it on first, I guess. Now let's just do a black. Okay, I guess we've got to go over here and change our uh, size of our stroke. So let's go up a little with that. We don't want too big. See now. See what we've got there now. So now I've got a 16 point stroke range. This is 4K video, so that's why a 16 point ordinarily would be humongous. I'll turn it off and on. So you can see what you can do. You can do create, put your background behind that. If for some reason you want that, you can, you can do all three. You can have your shadow and your background and, and your stroke. <laughs> and you know, let's, let's, let's go ahead and leave it at that for now for a second. I'm going to save this so I don't lose it. And then let's talk about this maybe animating your, your, you know, there's different ways you could do this. You could just right click on this and apply default transitions and that way it would fade in, right? Just fade in. A lot of times that's not what you want to do with the title. It might be, maybe you want to fade out. I'm going to go over here to the end, hold over that and right click and say uh, uh, apply default. So now this is going to fade out, but maybe you want it to come in a different way. And so I can go over here to effects. Now this is getting out of this. I'm going to close this up for just a minute. We'll pull this up so we can see our effects a bit better. And so I'll go over here to effects and maybe, I don't know, let's pick a transition. Let's pick a slide here. Let's try a push and see what that does. So here's what a push is going to look like. Cool. So I didn't mean to like get off on to doing a, a lot of times I like this whip. This whip's kind of cool. Check this out. And I say I could make a different title for over here if I want to. This is kind of cool. Say you've got a, say you've got a title that you like. Maybe you like this kind of title now. You don't have to build this title over again. A lot of times what I'll do is just click on this and say Command C and copy it. I'll go over here to the side where I, where I could lock this down and put it where I want it. That way I won't, over, uh, I won't overwrite the video. But let's say, so now when I change this one, it doesn't change this one. This one will stay the way it is. I've just got a copy that I can go ahead and edit. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. i got my text tool again. I'm going to click in here and I'm going to say, and now the new toy. And this is probably a, I have no idea what this is. Let's call it a line. Okay. So there you see, I've, I've done a new one, a, a new, uh, a new title. And we can see this now. It goes away. Yeah, you can bring it. 
feel the line. He stole the line. Okay, so he did. He did have a line. We can hear that on the audio. Uh, folks, that's just to get you started with uh, with the text features in here if you want to build your own. And again, you can go over here uh, to the graphics or captions and graphics and you can get a whole bunch of stuff that Adobe gives you for free. You can buy them yourself if you want to. But there's just all kinds of different ways you can do these text things. And I've probably spent enough time talking about this. Uh, let me know if you'd like to learn more about how the text and titles work. That's sort of an intro to some of the things you can do. Peace to all who watch. Subscribe to the channel if you like.